Start the recording, chest recording company with the late Muddy Waters and the Hollow Wolf and the whole bit. I don't claim to be a young boy, but I am blessed. November 10th, I'm 83 years old. I have 377 records as of today. And looking forward for at least another 100 years of recording. That's Bobby Rush. Have you ever been mistreated by someone you shouldn't have blow? Have you ever been mistreated by someone you shouldn't have blow? Out of all of me and my woman could have left me far. She left me for the garbage man. No matter how bad she treated me, still can't get a love out of my mind. No matter how bad she treated me, still can't get a love out of my mind. Every time I see a garbage can, think about her and the garbage man all the time. If I ever get my woman to come back, I'm gonna buy myself a garbage truck. If I ever get my woman to come back home, I'm going to buy myself a garbage truck. When my garbage can't get full, I'm going to take it and dump it way, way, way out in the woods. That's the blues. Woo. Way down in Louisiana, down in Cajun land. People got something going down there called a K Park Kitchen to set. A diggy on a scoop of doo, diggy on a scoop of die, you old pooky poo you. Get a hip to the consultation all the pool all way. Golly, golly, Miss Molly, everything is cooperating now. Look at poo, look at you. Oh, what I wanna do to you, you old pooka poo, you. Ah, little Louisiana talk. Get a hip to the constant on the bull all we bull all we now nah, bull all we ain't nothing but a girl walking sexy look at poo ain't nothing but a bull legged woman walking like you know what I mean <laughs> a poo poo you uh huh poo poo you Ha, yo, pull it, pull you. Oh, little girl, let me tell you what I want to do. <laughs> Gotta hit to the concert tapes all the bull all week. I wish I had me one of them bull all week with me right now. <laughs> bull all week. Nothing but a bow legged woman. Let me tell you what a bow legged woman is. Chicken in the car, and the car won't go. That 
That's the way you spell Chicago A knife and a fork And a plate of green That's the way you spell New Orleans Hey little girl In a tight sweater Let me tell you something baby You show sure looking mellow You and I Go hand in hand You the bald legged woman I'm a knock deep man Poogie poo You see what I said? I said You the bald legged woman Oh girl I'm a knock deep man We go hand in hand When you put us together We spell ox O-X <laughs> Poogie poo Since I'm talking Louisiana talk, I was in love with this girl when I was about 15 years old. I didn't see her for about 35 or 40 years. She had changed a little bit, but not much. She had grew a few lumps. Some of you out there in Radio Land know what I'm talking about. <laughs> she put on a dress she hadn't had on about 15 years. Polite as I am, I didn't say, baby, you're getting fat. I said, your dress, you're too small. <laughs> and, his, and then she went at me, because I had got married again, and she had not gotten married. I said, why are you winking at me? She said, I want you to go home with me. I said, how can I go home with you? I'm married. She said, I'm married too, but I'm going put to my, put, my, put my husband to sleep. <laughs> and she did. Took me to a basement. Where we used to go when we was kids. Nothing in in the room but a big old bed with no mattress on it. And uh, she took me down there. She had big lip lipstickers all over, red lipstick painted. I thought she was a voodoo witch because when I walked in the house, spider spider webs in the ceiling, human skull was in the floor. Looked like to me somebody been home. She set me on the bed and she got a rope and tied my hand, tied my feet, she tied me to the bed. <laughs> I was laying there pretty helpless. Then she went in the kitchen. I was kind of nervous with being tied up, but she stayed in the kitchen so long, that really made me nervous. She got back in the, in the bedroom where I was with a two book of the Lord in her hand. Then she grazed me down with the Lord, taught me face down and put the other book of the Lord on me. By that time, I was pretty greasy. Then she went back in the kitchen. I was nervous, laying there greasy and nervous. Came back with two other books of the Lord in her hand. Set them in the middle of the floor. Then she looked at me and, dan and put a little dance in the floor. And she said, boo, like that, with a big lips. <laughs> and then she danced and whisked behind the door because I thought she was going for a shot going then, but she didn't. She got the baseball bat. Then she got the bucket of law, she started to grease the red baseball bat. And then that's when my religion came out. I started to pray. I said, Lord, please, don't let her do what I think she can do with this bat. And uh, next time I get on this radio, I tell y'all what she did, all right? For right now, goodbye. <laughs>